Investing, some of the first things that come to mind are day trading, stock charts, and potentially losing all of your money. The S&P 500 is one of the best investments anyone can make. And once you learn a few basics about the index, you could make millions of dollars in your lifetime. No need to spend thousands on overpriced stock market courses. To test out how effective the index was, I decided to put in $7 a day for six months and the returns I got from it were quite surprising. During the video, I'll get into the specifics about what the S&P 500 is, the kind of returns you can make from it, and sharing my personal experience from investing in it. So firstly, what is the S&P 500? Basically, it's a collection of the 500 biggest publicly traded companies in America that holds about 80% of all the stocks in the US market and has a total value of $32 trillion. You can't directly invest into the index. Instead, you need to buy an exchange traded fund or an ETF that will track the index. There's lots of different investment companies like Vanguard, iShares, BlackRock that have the license to create an ETF version of the S&P 500 the same way that you or me can buy a license to use Adobe's Photoshop. So once they have the license, they can create an ETF that will perfectly track the performance of the S&P 500 index. The one that I invested in was the S&P 500 Vanguard ETF or VOO is its ticker symbol. So you can see their performances between VOO and the actual index is completely the same. The 10 biggest companies the index will track are really big names like Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, and they make up about 25% of the whole index as well and you can see how the top 10 companies really overshadow the majority of the other businesses that are included i personally really like the fact that your money is spread out amongst so many companies you're not at the mercy of one business or sector because there's lots of different sectors your money is split between like healthcare finance technology so it's a very safe investment and you're always going to have a consistent return from it the whole index is also passively managed meaning there's no one actually picking which companies are going to be included and which ones are going to be sold. Businesses have to earn and keep their place in the index. Some of the criteria that they have to have is a total market cap or value of $15 billion or more and they have to be profitable over the past four quarters. And this is great because the companies that are included are always changing. If you take a look at the S&P 500 in 2003, the top 10 holdings aren't even recognizable compared to what they are now. You can see that Walmart is number one and that ExxonMobil and other gas companies are in the top 10 as well, along with General and Ford Motors are the main car companies. And now Tesla has completely overshadowed them. You can't really see any of the usual companies you would expect to be there. Microsoft is in 47th place and Apple was ranked in the 300th place, whereas now in 2023, it's number one. To put this price change into perspective, one share of Apple in 2003 was worth 30 cents and now it's worth $188. So it's gone up just over 60,000%. So investing $1,000 back in 2003 into Apple would now have given you a portfolio valued at six hundred thousand dollars so it's really hard to tell which companies are going to be profitable and stay profitable especially for 5 10 or 20 years and having a more automatic process like investing in an index is going to remove a lot of the hassles that people commonly think comes with investing like having to spend hours researching companies looking at stock charts and always trying to figure out the best time to buy and sell an investment i personally think something like voo is something that you can be investing into for decades at a time and you can be confident that it's going to make you money during that whole process. I was someone who was always checking my phone to see if I've made or lost money on a stock, especially if I was buying something a bit more volatile like Tesla or the occasional meme stock as well. Investing in a broad index really gives me the confidence that I'm going to make money in the long run and I don't have to stress about the short term ups and downs that come with the market. So moving on to how much money can you make from the index? To put this into perspective, if you invested $10,000 in 1983, adjusted for inflation, you would have $255,000, and without adjusting for inflation, you would have $300,000. 
781,000. So on average, the index will give you roughly 10% per year. And I know that you can't use past performance to indicate future performance, but personally, I'm quite confident in something that has a 100 year track record. And the index has survived a lot of recessions. In 2008, the index dropped by over 40%, but in just a few years, it quickly rebounded and became profitable again. And exactly the same during the pandemic, it came down about 35%, but again, within a few months, it was profitable. During my experience of investing $7 a day, my portfolio grew to $1,248 and I made about an 8% return. So roughly $100 profit in those six months. So this is quite good because I'm definitely on track to match that return of 10% per year that you're after with this investment. If I wanted to scale this and make more money, I could either increase the time that I'm investing for or increase the amount of money that I'm putting in. So if I doubled my investment to $15 per day and did this for 10 years, my portfolio would grow to $86,000. So 54,000 would be my own money that I put in and $32,000 would be from compound interest. If you compare this to a bank where you might get 2%, you would only make $5,000 from the compound interest. So this really gave me confidence in the strategy and I knew that I would be on the right track. What I learned from this whole experience is that it's definitely a really great strategy to invest in the S&P 500, but it's not going to make you an overnight millionaire. It's most definitely a really long-term game. You need to think about this in a five, 10 or 20 year time frame. It's more like a savings account instead of an investment where you're going to make quick money from it. And one of the best ways to make it easier is just to set up an automatic payment from your bank account to your broker and then from your broker into the s p 500. if you're doing this manually you're probably going to miss days and you're always going to be checking what the price is of the investment when you're buying it so it's going to make it a lot more of a time consuming and annoying process and you may not stick with it long term as well one of the main problems with this strategy is that there are other ETFs that actually will outperform the S&P 500. So you can have high growth ones like QQQ, which on average go up about 16% per year, or there's other ones like SCHD, which goes up about 13% every year, and it also gives you a dividend of 3.5%. So you might be losing out money by passing up on these other ETFs. If you want to see some other great investments besides VOO, then check out this video on screen that will give you a breakdown of some of the most profitable investments that you can buy. Remember, if you find the content helpful, make sure to drop a like for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel as well.